Now I am in a customer and all the cameras are working right now, but sometimes uh, they have uh, like an intermittency, so the camera goes black and come back. So if you're having this problem, I'm going to tell you what it uh, could be. So that way you can spot the problem right away and you can tell them to the customer, do you want to do the shop or not or whatever. So if you have a camera, here is the one I removed. Uh, here we have the switch and over there we have the DVR. I'm going to show you step by step what uh, you can do to prove uh, what is I mean to make sure what is the problem to find out the problem uh, right uh, right away. Okay, here we have uh, the DVR. This is a hybrid, so as you can see, they have analog cameras and they have the digital cameras. So the digital cameras like this, this is uh, high vision. Is they, they have a good reputation on internet, as you can see. Here you have the the cable. So what I have done is I connect the cable directly to the switch. This is a PoE switch, as you can see over there, PoE switch. And um, that way you can make sure that the camera is not the problem. So in this case, as you can see, I just connected it directly. And now it went black. So I have no link. So uh, it seems like there is some problem with the, with the camera because everything is tight and firm, but uh, it does that all the time. So even when you have this on the ceiling, Right now, I am in the data closet, so I don't have anything, but uh, the main thing that calls my attention here is that they have RC45 couplers, as you can see, over there, over there, every, they got everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. So if you don't have enough current on the cameras, that might, that might be an, an issue. Another issue is if the, the cable is not good, maybe it's a clay kind of a, aluminum with uh, copper so that would be another problem what i will say what i would i'm going to recommend to this customer is to rerun all the cables and make sure that they are 100 percent copper and instead of having all the cables here where uh, i would recommend to use the patch panel that is why they have it but you know and other people they want to do a quick shop and they do this type of things so that is my, my recommendation also another thing that you can do is just replace the camera first and if that solves the problem most of the time uh, you replace the camera and that will solve the problem but in this case like i said before i see a lot of, of rc45 couplers and that might be the problem here we have the um, dvr like i said before here we have the power supply this power supply that you see here is only for the analog camera so these are the analog cameras so if i turn it this off you will see all of them are going to go off like this and i can turn them back on so that will be another thing you can power cycle them and see that will be maybe that will solve the the problem but in this case i power cycle the this power supply because I didn't know uh, w which cameras were which and you can do the same thing with the switch so with this uh, Cisco switch this is the new generation I encounter in another customer they, they have the problem that this switch they have some recall and they were overheating and they were having all kind of problem that might be another issue they can replace the, the switch uh, see if, if that might be the issue, but you have many things here uh, because of the recall. Uh, it might be the switch, it might be the camera, or you may have some loose connection uh, somewhere. So those are the main things that you can uh, find in this type of problem. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any question, please let me know in the section below and see you next class.